Welcome to a very chilly night here at the 2016 Vinnie's CEO Sleepout. I'm with the biggest fundraiser of the day. Biggest fundraiser, I think, for the last seven years, Barry, haven't you been? Oh, pretty close, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, raise a bit. But I think the key thing for me is this is our seventh year I've done it. There's four of us that have done it for seven years, which is good. And you just get out there and grind away and hit up all your friends for money, and away you go. It's good. Now, now I first met you last year when I came. I just rocked up raw. You were one of the men that showed me a bit of kindness, kept me warm for a little while, but then you well, evicted me from the I'm not, I'm, <laughs> sleepover. I'm not, I'm not sure about the keeping you warm. I, I think I gave you some tips on how you get warm. Yeah, well, should, tips. Yeah. Yeah. Very glad you're organised this year. That's a good thing. <laughs> I did. Sleeping bag, pillow, cardboard, perfect. You can't go wrong. When I go into the bigger states, I used to actually see people on the side of the street mm. for a long time. Never really saw it in Perth. Now, it's in every state. It seems to be actually escalating. There, yeah. there is a lot of people sleeping out at night. I think it's always been there, certainly an element of homelessness in certainly in WA. But these sort of events actually bring it to the fore. So there's about nine and a half thousand people that sleep rough every night. And I think what's interesting is they're just people sleeping rough. There's a whole bunch of other people who are sleeping in cars. They're sleeping on people's couches. So there's almost an undercurrent of people there. While technically they've got a roof or they've got something over their head, they're homeless as well. They don't have their own fixed abode, and it's very, very tough. It's a tough get. It really is. With most fundraisers, you can donate. Anyone can donate. But this is actually putting yourself in the life for one night, but you still are taking it on. Last year when I took it on, it was wet, it was rainy. I've heard guys saying it's gonna to rain tonight, so I'm gonna be up for the easiest night. Yeah, and I think part of it is, when you have a very, very small taste of it, it actually gives you, it gives you a greater understanding. I mean, it's easy to write out a check. I mean, anyone can sit in the office and write out a check and go, there you go. I think if you're actually trying to experience it in a very, very small way, you become a lot more passionate about it and it makes you more aware when you see people out there. You just take a different view of the world, you really do. You try and be a better person and try and help out others who are doing it tough. And it's been a good year, a bit tougher this year, but we raised some good money, raised about $121,000, so I'm pretty happy with that. And to be quite frank, you know, it's one night, it's not that big a deal, it really isn't. I mean, you've got people doing it 365 days of the year, so we're pretty lucky. This is about trying to give a bit back. More money raised this year than last year in a harder market, but the homeless amount keeps going up. We've been doing this for seven years now. We've raised $4.2 million. And from Vinny's perspective, that makes a big, big difference. So it's providing accommodation, it's providing meals, it's providing support services for passengers in Northbridge, uh, for the Vincentian village. So there's a lot of good programs they put in place here and they can't do without money. Mm. And they need people like us to go out and raise money for them. Every cent you raise goes to Vinny's. Well, what you've done is a great job. Pleasure. Congratulations Pleasure. on being the number one for the last time, because next year I'm coming after you. I reckon that'll be awesome if you could beat me. Well, I've got uh, my mum and all of her senior friends. How many unique family? Um, 13. 13? 13. Well, a nice donation of each one of those, you'll beat me easily. Now, if you want to get involved, make sure you go to our website, follow the links, or you can go straight to the Vinnie's website, vinnies.org.au. Now, don't forget, during the show, we're going to drop in and out and see exactly what we get up to here at the 2016 Vinnie's CEO Sleepout. <laughs>